Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in Adobe Photoshop and After Effects. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you how you can save your Photoshop animation and then import your Photoshop animation into After Effects. And you can import a video timeline or a frame animation from Photoshop into After Effects, but the frame animation is going to require a couple of additional steps, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do both. We'll start with the easy one. This is the video timeline animation in Photoshop. The first thing you need to do is save the Photoshop document as a PSD file. First, I'll press the space bar to stop the animation. Then I'm gonna go up to the top menu. I'll click on file, save as. Give your document a name. Choose the destination on your hard drive to where you want to save the file. For format, select Photoshop and then click save. Now I'm gonna open up Adobe After Effects. To import the Photoshop document, you can go up to the top menu, click on File, Import File, or the easy way, in the Project Panel, if you just double click in an empty space, that's gonna open up a Finder window if you're on a Mac, or Explorer if you're on Windows. Select the PSD document. For Import As, you wanna change that from Footage to Composition, Retain Layer Sizes, and keep Create Composition Checked, Uncheck Photoshop Sequence, then click Open. On the second dialog box, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Keep it at composition, retain layer size, and check editable layer styles. Then click OK. And to open the composition, all we have to do is just simply double click on it. I have all 28 layers from Photoshop. And if I tap the space bar to preview the animation, my animation looks exactly how it did in Photoshop. Cool. And now I'll show you how to import a frame animation from Photoshop into After Effects. Just a couple of things to help you understand the overall process. Whatever layer or layers that you have visible, or so wherever you see the little eyeball icon, those are going to be the layers that are initially visible when you import it into After Effects. And the other thing you wanna make a note of in Photoshop is the timing that you have set for each frame. So in my case, if I click on the dropdown, I can see that each frame is set to 0.20 seconds. This will make sense when we get into After Effects, but you're gonna to need to trim the layers to a set frame. And I will leave a link in the description to an online frame calculator. I just put in that 0.2 seconds at 24 frames per second. And now I know when I get into After Effects that I'm gonna trim the layers somewhere around four to five frames. Okay, so step one, save as a Photoshop document. I'm gonna go to the file menu, save as. I'll enter a name, choose where I want to save it. For the format, make sure it's set to Photoshop, then click on save. Double click in the project panel to open a finder window. I'll select my frame animation.psd file, import as, make sure it's set to composition, retain layer sizes, check create composition. Click open. Import kind, make sure composition retain layer sizes and editable layer styles is checked and click OK. Just double click on the composition to open it. Everything looks the same, but when I tap the space bar, you'll see there is no animation for this frame animation. No problem. I'll drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna select all the frames by selecting frame number one at the bottom first. I'll press the shift key and click on frame 28 at the top so all frames are selected. Then I'm gonna move the CTI forward in time. I'm just gonna do it for four frames. So I'll press the command key, control if you're on Windows, and I'm gonna tap the right arrow four times. So one, two, three, four. Now I am going to trim all of the layers at the CTI location. So I'm gonna press the option key on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and tap on the right square bracket key. So Alt or Option, right bracket key is going to trim all the layers. So I'll just right click right on the layers. I'm gonna to go to Keyframe Assistant and select Sequence Layers. I'll keep this unchecked for overlap and then click OK. So with all the layers selected, if you just click on the little eyeball, that's going to make them all visible. And now when I tap the space bar, the animation is just like it was in Photoshop. So if you create an animation in Photoshop, all you need to do is save it as a Photoshop.psd document, and then you can import it into Adobe After Effects. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.